Hi, I'm Rich Kutchman with Strategic Self-Reliance and Defense, and today we're going to continue the series on the TCCC March Pause acronym. We're getting very near the end here. Uh, today we are going to cover H, so we've already covered MARC, right? um, remember M, massive hemorrhage, A, airway, R, respirations, and C, circulation, basically treating shock, recognizing and treating shock. All right, so H, we're in H. H in the March Pause acronym stands for head injury and hypothermia. It's actually a twofer in this case. All right, remember the entire March Pause acronym is really just a way for us to remember the proper order of treatment. It's the sequence that we're supposed to follow when we're treating a trauma patient, all right, according to TCCC. This is done during the tactical field care phase of TCCC. All right, so head injury, hypothermia. Let's talk about head injury first. Um, not a lot we're going to do for head injury in the field. Let's be honest. There's not a whole lot we can do. Um, but I guess the key really here is to recognize there's the pro there, there is a problem, recognize there's a head injury, and then we're going to want to maintain blood flow right to the to the organ to the brain in this case. So one we got to recognize it. So recognizing there's a problem is doing an assessment. Um, and the easy assessment, the quick and down and dirty that the TCCC, Tactical Combat Casualty Care, um, or you know, um, the Tactical Emergency Casualty Care, either way, uh, TECC and TCCC, cousins there. Either way, the scale that we like to use and we teach is the AVPU scale, okay, AVPU, right? So, again, another acronym for you. Right, so you're casually, your you're, you're, you're person you're taking care of here, if they're fully awake and alert, they get an A, right, A. If the casualty only responds to verbal stimuli, so, you know, they're not just engaging with you unless you kind of yell at them. You stimulate them with maybe some loud voice and questions, that's V, verbal stimulus. If they only respond to you with painful or noxious stimulus, it's a P. And then the last U is just unconscious, right? They don't respond to stimuli at all. So A, V, P, U. Obviously, A is the best scenario, and each level is worse. It's a worse prognosticator for their condition. All right, again, and the reason we name this, or we, you know, we, we identify it, we assess it, is we want to know where we are right now, what condition is the patient now, track it over time so you continually reassess, and then eventually you're going to hand this patient off to somebody, EMS, um, or get them to the ER, trauma bay. You're going to want to report, okay, well, they, you know, when they first were injured, they were alert, they were an A, and, and now they're you, they're unresponsive. Okay, you can you can track that. So, all right. So that's that's head injury. So that's that's first the recognizing piece. The other half is what can we do for treatment in the field? Not a whole lot. The big thing is make sure that they don't get worse, right? And when I say getting worse, if they're maybe they were involved in a in in a um, IED blast, they took a traumatic brain injury and a penetrating injury of some sort that they're losing blood. If they lose enough blood, there's not enough blood to per perfuse the, the the melon, right? The brain's not going to get enough oxygen, and that's bad for the brain. So that tissue is going to die. It's going to suffer because it's not getting enough enough oxygen, enough nutrients, enough a fuel. Okay, so what you have to do is recognize there's a problem, and then minimize perfusion problems to the brain, which means. If there's a blood loss problem, stop the blood loss. If you're having to replace volume, you're going to replace volume. Um, if there's an airway problem, they're not getting oxygen. you got to correct the airway problem or the breathing problem, right? You want to make sure they're still getting oxygen in, carbon dioxide out, the whole um, gas exchange portion that we talked about, you know, airway and breathing. Uh, so you, you, want to, you want to kind of go back to the basics a little bit. So you want to make sure the brain's getting enough oxygen. You want to make sure it's getting enough blood flow to deliver that oxygen. Um, and then that's about all you're going to do in the field, okay? Uh, get the patient to a trauma center so that trauma surgeons can take care of them. 
And again, I'm Rich Kitchman with Strategic Self-Reliance and Defense. Thanks for watching. Watch this a couple times and get out and train with us. Take care.